Okay, so I got requested this tutorial, but basically you're gonna add your clip or whatever, and it's just gonna be your simple clip, and it's gonna be, and then you're gonna go to speed, and you're gonna turn it to, um, four, but like the one that's like fastest, the fast four or whatever, and then and then you're gonna do that, and then you're gonna export it, and you're gonna put your clip back in, and uh, you're gonna delete the clip you had before, and then. Yeah, you're going to delete the clip you had before. Make sure it's the clip you had before and not the clip you just ex put into it. And you're going to put it to two times speed, but like the slow one, and make it better quality. Wait for that. And delete the cap thing and see how it looks. And you can adjust it however you want, but I suggest you... So you're going to put that clip in and then you're going to put another clip in that was before that clip. So you can do that. And you're going to put... um match out and auto generate on the um sound and yeah and then you're going to go to oh my god what am i gonna you're gonna split them onto the beats um i'm sorry i'm stupid and then you're going to go to oh my god you're gonna go to effects and you're gonna put halo blur at the first part and you're going to put Halo Blur um, all at the points, in whichever points you want, but I recommend, yeah. And you're going to copy them, however many you need. And you can either use Halo Blur or um, the horizontal, no, vertical blur, I think that's what it's called. I'm not actually sure. <laughs> and then... Uh, sorry, I don't know my own editing. <laughs> and then you're gonna put is that shake? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's shake. Um, you're gonna put shake, and you're gonna do exactly what you did with the um halo blur. And then you're going to go to overlay, and you're going to add overlay, stock photos, and then press the white one, put it all the way over. And make sure it's all the way over, covering it to make sure it looks okay. And you're going to press overlay and fade in and fade out. And that's the one you're going to do. And you're going to do the same thing, basically, with the, the halo blur and the shake and stuff. And it should. And then you can put your own adjustments, like how I do my coloring and stuff. So, yeah. But, like, you can do whatever you want. Like, whatever you want you know what I mean and it should end up looking something like this someone requested it I think it was fire edits or Mary Welch if I'm correct and then if you want to do this you can add auto velocity by going to style I'm pretty sure and you can do that but I, I did that with most of the clips most, most of them <laughs> And, yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Um, but it should end up looking something like this at the end. If you have any questions, please comment down below. And at the end, you can fade in and fade out. And that's what I do. And on the first clip, I fade in, if you don't know. And then put your watermark. Anyways, um, if y'all need anything else, I want y'all to tell me because if I forgot something. So, yeah. Thank you.